The last item I'd like to add to my data model are expressions. Expressions are pieces of custom functionality which you can use in several places in your app. For example, expression properties. Expression properties are properties that use combined data or use a formula to make the data that they provide. So now that we have connected the two models or the multiple models together, we can create expressions that are based of data from other models. So in my example, I have two more properties that we haven't created yet, and these belong to the project model. These are an amount of times expression and an amount of time spent in total for one project expression. So we're going to use a sum and a count expression for these, and we're going to be creating these via our older ID. So the first thing we have to do is we go to the project model, and from the project model, we click on new property. And here we open the uh, previous version of the platform. So click on the open button. And the way that uh, this will look in uh, the newer version will be exactly the same. It will just look a little different. But for now, we're going to create the uh, properties in here, the property expressions. So for the expressions, click on type. And here you can see an entire field of expressions. You have a checkbox expression. So the result from a checkbox expression will be a yes or no. The result from date expressions will be a date, minutes, numbers, a price result, or a text result. For the first expression, we need a number expression because what we're going to be do, what we're going to be doing is we're going to count the amount of tasks that are connected to a project. And the result from, from this will be a number. So we're going to use a number expression for this. We're going to be calling this the total amount of tasks. And the reason I'm typing it like this is because uh, in the previous IDE, we're uh, first typing uh, the name of the what it looks like in the database. So for the naming convention, again, a capital for the first word and any word after, any, word, uh, any white space in between, use an underscore for this. So total underscore amount underscore of underscore tasks. The expression for the total amount of tasks will be the following. What we're going to be doing is we're going to count. So write down count, then open the parenthesis and close the parenthesis. And in between the parenthesis, we're going to define what needs to be, well, what, what the expression needs to count. And what we're going to count is a variable. So we're gonna insert the variable. So our project is connected to tasks and that is what we're going to count. So click on tasks and just click on select. So right now from the record, we have selected tasks and we click on select. So as you can see, this expression right now counts the tasks that are connected to the record. And we're saving this. So after we've saved this, we can close it because we're going to create another uh, property, which we can create via this uh, overview as well. So close the property overview and click on new. And in here, we're going for another expression, but this time a minutes expression, because we have something else that uh, used minutes, and that is the uh, minutes expression over the, the or the time spent property from our task model. We're gonna be calling this expression the total amount of time. So total amount of time spent, and the expression for this will be sum, parenthesis open, parenthesis close, and then we're gonna insert a variable. So the variable that we're going to be inserting is the time spent over our task record. So via record, so let me go back. So via record, go to tasks. This is the relation that we have created, and then select time spent, the amount of minutes. Select, and as you can see right now, we're summing the time spent over the task relation from the project. So let's save this. And these two now will give a result within our project based of the data that we have within tasks. To view these properties in your project, 
refresh your uh, properties. You can do that by uh, pressing F5 or just opening up your properties again via just switching around your relations, etc. And here you go. You can see the total amount of tasks and total amount of time. These expressions can be used in multiple different ways. Uh, you can connect data, you can make formulas with uh, well, prices, etc. Et for example, if you were to ask someone for a first name and a last name, you can make a full name expression by combining a first name and a last name property together in a text expression. This is something that you can do as some homework on top of uh, this application, but I'll leave that to you. This is uh, the last part for the demo of the project management application data model. If you want to continue and look at uh, what this data looks like in your page builder or back office, check out some of the other courses.